so nice to be back with you again. Today I have something different for you lined up here. You see a black canvas. First, let me tell you how I get the canvas black. I use a black latex. Buy a can of black latex, it got to be dull. Don't have it shiny. They have all kinds of latex there. Some is a bit shiny. A dull, a dull latex. Now, you remember we always talked about as darker you get, as more light you got. I want to make a sunny scene on that dark canvas and the light will be more brighter than on the white canvas. I will create a kind of a, <clears throat> oh, there's no sky at all. There will be all oh, valley and a happy little river coming out from behind. <clears throat> on this side, the sun, is come, the sun is going right into that valley from the side and this side will be lighted up and this side will be in the shadow, on this side of the river. See, when it is ready in your mind, there's no trouble to fire it on. What I use here, look, sap green, sap green. I fire it right onto that dark canvas. See, all, everything is sap green from now on. See, now watch. That sap green looks so much darker on the black canvas than I would put it on the, on the, on the white canvas. I will leave out this little hill here because uh, I have to have more dark here. So I just put it on where I think the sun would be. See, rub it in, fire it in, fire it in, fire it in. <clears throat> so you must think now, there's all kinds of hills coming down in the background. And on this side, there's another hill right in the front. And, and that water comes around here. So I will, watch, I will use on this spot a touch of Prussian blue into that. See, Prussian blue into that rather. <clears throat> see, Prussian blue into that. That means you can see I have it darker here than here. <clears throat> and fires right into the water too. There are some nice tricks. I know you will enjoy this kind of a painting. Good, good. Ready. See, having blue on my brush and I need green. I use yellow into the brush right now without cleaning the brush. Can you see? Blue and yellow turns green. See, as long as you know what you're doing, there's no problem. So I need that green. So I will create first, let me draw it down roughly. There will be, uh, uh, that will be the beginning of that whole painting. There. And I will come around a little bit. And I fire that into the water. See? Now, I come down the hill, I come down the hill, see, I come down the hill. You must think that a, it's a hill coming down there. I come down the hill there. Oh, maybe here, uh, here, 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 here. And it all ends up in that happy little valley there. And then out behind there comes the creek, yellow and blue is a green. See, you know, here I will already stand up little trees there. This act like, can you see, it's like trees. There's no sky, the sky is high up there. Do you look just into the other side of the valley there? To your imagination, you have to draw on your mind. I have learned that very, very, very easy 
and you can learn it too if you want to. See, already a couple bigger trees, couple, just dabble something, just something is coming down there. <clears throat> See, okay, good, good, good. Good, and now you file in here already the, the colors, like that. Now we will use a fan brush, a mighty fan brush, and I will, I will use yellow and a touch of white. See, yellow and a touch of white. And I will create the almighty shoreline there. Look at that. Can you see on that dark, how that light comes out? Now a sun, when you look, a sun in the dark, underneath the trees that is black, that is darker than dark. See, and that's why I use the, the black canvas for that. But when the sun hits it, oh God, look what happened. See? Now we make maybe a happy little cove there. A happy little cove there. See? Now we come in maybe around here. And let it come in here again. See? Oh, that gives you that extra there. That means the creek is coming from behind, round, and goes up there. And you can see how easy it is to draw in your mind. That is the secret of painting. If I have to use a pencil or whatever, or it just won't do the job. See? Now, now we will use the same trees the way I painted my trees yellow and a touch of blue. See? And what it gets, gets you green, almighty green, and you fire in the tree standing there. Maybe we have a couple little ones, little ones standing there. And leave it dark underneath if you can. See? All the tree. Right next to that. And leave it, leave it dark on the bottom. Leave it dark. Leave it dark. If you want, you already can cut in here. See? Cut in there. Isn't that a wonderful way of creating? Lots of creative power. Lots of creative power. And as you go on painting like that, you load your own battery. You cannot help getting happier and happier and more excited about your own, what your, your own hands are doing. See? But loose. God, loose. Don't, don't, don't make blocks there. See? Could you make a nice close-up shot here? See? See what? Oh, isn't that nice? Ah! Can't help getting like more excited. See? And now you use only those kind of colors. Maybe here's a big tree. Oh, I have that white not mixed. Oh, then you give him another shot. See? And let it get darker, 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 darker. That's what makes it nice. Always have the, the bright light on top. Always have that bright light on top. See how you mix this? Simple white and yellow. Very, very easy colors today. Very easy colors. See, I fire it right underneath. If I would have it all gone down with the same color up there, I could not do other tree below because that would be light and light, nothing and nothing is nothing. See, let it go dark again. See, that's a big tree behind and a little tree in the front. Now, I, I hope this painting should be a good teacher. That should be an almighty teacher. That should be an almighty teacher. See, leave it dark, leave it dark there. Now you can always plaster already. You can always... Uh, 
fire in whatever you have on top. Just, just harmonize. Just harmonize. See? If you want, you can add a bit of color. What's good too? <coughs> Maybe here behind, far away behind, you have a couple a little trees standing there. See? Have to think. Have to think. It's coming down. It's coming down any good all way. Good, 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 good. Maybe here, maybe here is one tree sticking out a bit more vicious there. Oh, that's good, that's good. Now you use your knife, you use your knife and mix a kind of a uh, bit of red into that, the same colors here. Too red, too much red, take it away, take it away. See, I mix a kind of a uh, orangey color and I create three trunks there. See, kind of a orangey color and you create three trunks. Here one more. See, whatever you, whatever you think, see here one more. Maybe here, one more, here, one more, there, one more, there, one more. See? And bring it out, bring it out. Bring out the goodies. There you are. What a joy to be alive on this particular canvas. See? Isn't that wonderful? Now, you can highlight that a little bit. See, I use a touch of extra white in here and give them a little higher tune and you highlight those tree trunks sometime. See? Maybe here one a little bit and here a little bit and here a little bit from the sunny side. See, maybe this one here a little bit, this one here a little bit, maybe here the other one. See, now if you want, you can just make a little dot there, 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 see, and then, and here, and then you use your, your big brush, and you pull that little dot a bit down, you see, pull that dot a bit down. That gives you the reflection of the tree trunks all of a sudden. See? Maybe push it out here, nice and gentle, and let it disappear, and then we make water out of that here. See? There we are. <clears throat> no, no, we will, we will. Give him a little bush there, a little bigger bush there, coming out there, you see? But always nice and, and loose. Everything is nice and loose. Everything is nice and loose. I will add a little bit of red into this particular tree here. There's the other little reddish looking tree in there. See? Good. Maybe we put that red on right in the water there. But you can add whatever you want now. If you want a, a little bit of a, a dry, dried up tree, you can put one in there. See? Gives you maybe a bit more, a bit more color there. See? So you can do almost anything you want. All right, we leave it like that. That side is nicely, see? Now straighten it out nice. Nice, not too much paint, not too much paint, and then make water out of that. See, now I use my knife, white. See, take a look what I do here now. White, yellow, and a touch of red. 
kind of a nice bright watch this here kind of a happy little shoreline see a happy little shoreline See, light, nice, light down, nice and flat. Light down, nice and flat. Again, a happy little shoreline, and you fires right in there. See, and now here the same, the same. See, something like that. That's where you would like to go up when you are fishing and draw your fishing line into the water. See, maybe here, 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 we pull it out nicely too. Pull it out nicely too. And you can run in a bit of uh, kind of extra little grout underneath there. See, and no, 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 we fire in. I use uh, Prussian blue, Prussian blue, and maybe a little touch of sap green, more Prussian blue, and I fire in trees here. What you do, you see nothing, nothing. Okay, that's good. You see nothing. But I now I put more blue on. That's the main thing for me now. Already I had, I prepared it with blue, more blue, more blue, this I don't want to get stuck, blue, see, fire it right into the water, fire it right into the water, <clears throat> see, now, now I use a touch of white, <clears throat> and that blue and I come to a certain a certain type of a color now let me see let me show you I would say this is the color now we will see if it works now it is still too dark a bit more white a bit more white see a bit more white now we will see how it works oh yeah it start coming See, that is on the, in the shadow side, on, around the bench. See, the sun is floating in, in the back, and in front, there are trees, but they look, it's shadow, it's a shadow tree. It's in the shadow. You see, here's the other tree standing there. Isn't that wonderful? Just loose, loose, loose lines. You must think that's a shadow corner here. Oh, we fire in there, oh, the tree, and look at the looseness, oh, God, isn't that beautiful? Just think there are branches flying around, coming out there, branches flying out there, branches flying out there. See, look at that, look at that. Just think about branches, flying branches. Can you see a, fun, a, a wonderful world now? Behind the sun is burning in the valley. And this, 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 this goes on right, right, right. Oh man, let me do it, let me do it. <clears throat> take that away, take that away, take that away. So, and now I will run that right in, right in here. See, now you can easy, easy have the same water lines, the same reflection in the water. See, but no, no, we will, we will, we will, we will put three trunks in there too. But three trunks, they are not as bright as they. So we fire in a kind of a tree trunk in the shadow. See, 
and that shadow painting. Blue, blue is a shadow color, with Alice in Crimson is a nice shadow color. Okay, good, good, good. You fire that right into the water there too. Maybe here's the other one. Fire it right into the water too. See? <clears throat> Maybe here's the other one. Fire it right into the water too. Here's the other one. Then you can always add a little bit. The same what we do in the, the other, other paintings. It's just a different way of approaching a painting on a black canvas. I do like it very much. It has a kind of a extra color there. See here in the water, you fire it in two. And maybe here. And here. And here. And always fire it right into the water. See? And there, 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 there. So, but now we will play little happy games. First we make water out of that. We will make water out of that. I will... <coughs> I will pull it all down. See, the little, those lines have become long now. You pull it all down because we don't need much paint in the water. See, now you can make water out there. See, I tie it together. I tie it together with this now. That becomes one, one, one type of water. Then, then, okay, we can use the other fan brush. And we will use white, white, see, blue, white. And from now on, we cannot use any, any of those bright colors there, but we will still watch what we will do. I will make here, start from here. That is the, is in the shadow there. See, that's in the shadow. That's in the shadow. See? Isn't that wonderful? Now we create the same shoreline there with blue and white. Blue and white. Blue and white. Happy little shoreline. I don't want to go too white. Just, just make it maybe like that. See, like that. That's good. Just like that. See, happy little shoreline. Happy little shoreline. See how that works? But then the shoreline here is a little spot coming out there. It's a little little sand bank, sand bank coming out there. See? And about this little sand bank there, that little sand bank there. <coughs> oh, let that get going. That little sand bank, all of a sudden, the sun hits in there. You see? All of a sudden, it's so far out, that the sun gets a spot of it. The sun gets a spot of it. Because you are next to God. You are the almighty creator. You do, 
you complement this wonderful world that if this happened here is a spot where the sun hits it and it brightens it nice up there. See? And then in between those three stairs, this happened, there's an opening all of a sudden. And that opening is right here and all of a sudden the sun came through. The sun is through there and, and hit that particular bush. You see? Hit that particular bush. And you just fire that little particular bush into the water. You see? And look what happened. Can you see how you brightened up your water? Okay, now use that big brush, that almighty big brush. And I show you what we do here. We use white and blue and make a kind of a, see, kind of a bit of light in there. But then you use yellow and white and fire in right here, extend it in, in the sunshine. Can you understand it? Now think where the sun is, you have this kind of, of uh, movements see, in the sunshine. But in the shadow, it tapers off. You don't have those kind of movements. You see how that works? Now we just pull it nice long, pull it nice long. There you are. What do you think about it? No, you just can little dress up a little bit here and there and that's all you would have to do i would like to do a little bit here a bit here maybe here a little bit of uh, grass sticking out there see and that is it that's all i can do you enjoyed it it was something different but it is very effective it gives you a happy buck fire in <laughs>